So one of the things that starts to happen when you're working with your back and you're working with scoliosis is that you begin to accomplish some shifts, some beneficial shifts. For example, if we get some rotation, or rather some derotation, so to speak, back into an, an improved symmetry of the, of the rib cage, what happens is the area where there wasn't a lot of muscle activity starts to work and it's a little bit intense and it's a little bit sore and you go through this period of shifting and rotating your rib cage into an improved position and while it's uncomfortable at times the amazing thing is that you begin to get a sense of how your posture is improving and you begin to understand what an improved posture feels like in your body your body begins to now understand an improved symmetry where necessary, where you've made these changes. And this is called the proprioception component of working with scoliosis. And this is a major focus of the simple postural yoga techniques I use, which allow the body to allow the ribs, or rather the vertebrae to pull back into improved positions behind the vertebrae using gravity and precision placement of the limbs and the shoulders and the hips and the legs. We've then supported the spine, we allow improvements to take place, and then you understand more about what a good posture looks like, and you understand more about how to stay there and get there as you're moving around in the day. You make a little shift, and you begin to understand that you need to hold something a little bit differently as you become stronger in an area where you were weaker before. This is part of the journey. This is to do. This is important. This is intense. This is worth it.